Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm the factory rep for the Forest River Sandstorm Toy Hauler, and out here we have the 241 Sport, the 2023 model. So let's take a quick look at some of the stuff on the outside. So you have a nice access to, uh, to storage right here. It's a full pass-through storage all the way to the other side. Um, you also have a nice full-sized awning out here. You have the LED light strip that's running underneath it. So you additionally have aluminum wheels over here on this side. So these also come, like all sandstorms, with the new tire pressure monitoring system, which can show you not only the tire pressure, but also the, the temperature of the tires while you're towing, so you can make sure that you're towing as safely as possible. So you also have the LP Quick Connect, which is also available on all sandstorms. So if you've got a little barbecue that you're going out camping with you, you can throw it out here and you can hook it directly into the propane bottles on the front end so you don't have to bring any extra bottles if you don't want to. Uh, you also have a nice patio light out here, some exterior speakers for when you're hanging out listening to some music. You've got uh, you know, plugs right here on the front end as well as the satellite connection. So yeah, plenty of stuff while you're hanging out out here, out riding or doing whatever you're out there camping. All right, so we're on the driver's side of the 241 Sport, and the Sport Series is kind of unique for what we do at Sandstorm. So this is intentional to be something that doesn't have all the bells and whistles on it. So that way, if you're just looking for a toy hauler that you can get out there, you know, do whatever it is you're trying to do and you don't need all the extra frills, this is the one that you're looking for. But we still do some important stuff that's unique to a toy hauler. So you have a 20 gallon fuel station on this. Just like the other Sandstorms, you have the controller out here on the outside where you can see how much gasoline is inside of the tank at any given moment uh, when you turn this on or off from the outside it'll actually pull the remaining fuel out of the line so that way you know you don't have to worry about dripping or anything afterwards like we mentioned up front you have the aluminum wheels with the tire pressure monitoring system um, you also have your six gallon water heater that's out here this is the uh, you know the vent for it you also have your winterization connection here that makes it easy to winterize all of your basic water connections as well um, as we move forward, you got a black tank flush that's on here that makes it easier to uh, empty out your tanks. You got the light here in case you got to empty out your night, which is a nice little feature that we're putting on everything. And then as well, you know, the other access side to the pass through storage. So if you got tables or anything you're loading up, you can access it from both sides of the coach. So we're out here on the back of the 241 Sport. Uh, we've got the ramp kit down, and even though this is a Sport, we still do the patio kit system. That's a standard on all sandstorms. Uh, this is a 3,000 pound ramp door and 2,000 pounds when you're in the patio kit setup. So also, as you move in, the design that we've intentionally had is we have a full length ramp door here. So you're at 102 wide. So this ramp door actually has the maximum opening that we can put on the rear of a toy hauler. Additionally, in the back, you also have a prep for a rear camera. So if you are the type of person that would like to have that convenience in your truck, uh, we already have it prepped for you. So it's something you can easily add aftermarket and we have that on all of our sandstorms as well. So we're inside of the 241 Sport and a couple important things to note here. You've got a total of 13 feet of cargo that's rolling all the way up into the front end. These chairs, these table, this sofa, everything can move out of this position and fold up against the wall or you can take the chairs up into the front bedroom so you can load up side by side quads, bikes, dog cages, anything that you might have. So an important measurement to remember as well is that on the 241 Sport you have 73 inches from this door side wall over to this oven handle. So even a lot of side by sides that are on the market if you've got a two seat side by side with a wheelbase around 66 inches or or below or even up to a 70 inch you know wheelbase that's going to be able to fit into here no problem so you pull that all the way up into this front end galley and it's specifically designed to support those cars even though it's intended to be a smaller more compact toy hauler so you still have your tie downs that are across all the floor that are all mounted into the steel of the chassis so you don't got to be worried about any of those you have 12 volt charging stations that are still throughout the coach in a bunch of different locations you know most of the seating areas up here in this top bed as well, uh, you have that, and that's a full electric bed, none of the, the pull shock based styles. We're still doing an electric style bed there that you have a controller in the monitor panel as well. Um, as we work our way into the kitchen, you've still got the oven and you got the three burner cooktop here. You also have the microwave. Uh, same as all of our sandstorms, you have a gas electric uh, refrigerator so that you can have that variable choice when you're out camping if you don't 
always have full hookups. You know, you can be in a position to run it on propane, which is a pretty important deal when you're out dry camping. You still have a ton of counter space here for, you know, the size of this trailer. So if you're out camping, you can still be able to cook and have access to do everything you need to do. We try to add as much storage space up in the top cabinets as we can. You know, in a toy hauler, space comes in so many different ways of being important, uh, whether it's cargo area space or space to still fit your dishes and things like that. So, you know, we, we do everything we can. You got magnetic latches here, so you know all of these are gonna stay closed firmly while you're going down the road. Uh, you also have steel ball bearing drawer guides down below throughout the whole kitchen with a nine ply birch. So these are sturdy and they have a locking mechanism on them as well. So when you're going down, if you're you know pulling through and actually going through some different areas where you're off road, this can actually handle that. You don't have to worry about everything popping open or moving as you're going. So we're inside the bathroom with the 241 Sport. And one of the great features that I love about this floor plan is actually you got the glass radial shower door that's got the little latch so it's not opening when you're going down the road. But also you have this full clearance height in this shower. So this is a great example of anybody who's taller. You know, I'm up over six feet and I could stand in this shower no problem and take it, uh, take an easy shower without having to duck and bend over. So I love that about this floor plan. And it's also in a lot of the floor plans that we're building in Sandstorm as well. So we're up in the front bedroom. So you have a standard queen. So we don't do any short RV queens or anything. You have a standard queen mattress up here in the front end. You got two full size wardrobes that are going to fit. You got a shelf up top and fit any sort of hangers. You know, they're, they're all the way into the depth of the front end. You've got 12 volt charging stations on both sides of the bed. Thanks for taking the time to check out this 241 Sport with me. If you want to check out any other Sandstorm information or any other videos or walkthroughs, you can check it out at forceriverinc.com sandstorm.